Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Did you know in Thailand you can eat mushrooms that grew out of elephant poop? I didn't either until today. Look at this view. Wow, look at like the, can you see the pink? Hallelujah. I love a little bit of pink. What's that guy doing up there? And isn't it crazy that something lives in this thing? That lives in this water? Some type of frog or just weird insect and that's its whole life. While we're watching YouTube videos and on YouTube live, like something is actually living in that and that's all it knows. It's just this little murky ass water or like in a puddle. And imagine the life of a puddle. That could be you, why not? Or me. We could have been born in a puddle. Man, I don't know how to fucking light a joint right now. If I knew how to light this joint, I would have lit it 20 years ago. Look at this, this view. This is cows and shit, this is like a, like if you were just like, I don't know, throw some, some cows, you know, perfect. Uh, you know, if you were just making your idea perfect, I don't know, some fields with some cows. Here it is, baby, it's real. Cows grazing fields aren't only in the imagination. While we're just lost in life, like there's a lady right there picking apples or something. Look, this is just happening on the same planet, in the same time, occupying the same time as us right now. Look, we can interact with it. We can interact with life. You can leave your little bedroom, your little job, and you can go and walk a weird little path in the middle of nowhere on mushrooms, grown from elephant shit. Well, freaking out, local rice picking workers just trying to go about their day. Oh man, look at these bananas. Every time I see these bananas, I know it's a good sign. Remember, baby bananas is a good sign. Got a little natural waterfall. Some activities down there. When I was first walking over here, I didn't know if that was a real animal or not. But he's just chilling. I was like, oh my God, it looks like just like a, I guess like a fallen tree, but it's a little too like skinny. And not skinny like a, like it doesn't have meat, but like skinny as in like, it looks like it's got covered in skin. Anyways, there's an animal, not a tree. I don't know, I think it's like an ox or something. Look at the birds are like on its, uh, on its horns. Sorry for my shaky hands. <laughs> yeah, what animal? What'd you guys put in my mushrooms?
Oh shit, look at that butterfly. Wait, is that the same animal or is that a different animal laying right there? Did it move? I think there's multiple giant animals just laying around. Man, this planet is crazy. You would have no idea all the different stuff that's happening at once. Just giant ass animals. All these plants are alive. Like, come on, what is this place? Nice to see you, sir. Look at those clouds. What is this planet even? I hope some giant stoner god somewhere is just blowing big clouds. And that's what we see right here. Shiva Mahadev smoking his chillum. Oh man, look at this. Let's go this way. Cows. You know if there's cows, that's a good sign. Not only does that mean the mushroom is near, which means you're protected by the ancient spirits, but also uh, they're just really beautiful. I don't know if I'm allowed to walk this way. Is this someone's, someone's yard I'm just walking up in? I just want to look at the cows. Okay, let's, let's go back before we have some awkward interaction with a human. Man, I gotta roll another one of these. Can you retie when you are on shrooms? Yeah, I can retie easy. Let me find some tie right here and I'll read it to you. <sighs> I don't see no signs, but when I see them, consider them red. Look at this one right here. This says, you can do your oil. Where is it at? You can change your oil here. Only 20 baht, 26 baht. And we also do insurance. Look at this. This looks like, looks like a bunch of little, uh, like a bunch of little, just people sleeping in the ground. Like if you pulled it out, there there would be like a little body at the end of it, just screaming to be put back in the earth. Just pull this little head out. Oh yeah, look at this. This is a uh, a Muay Thai gym, just in the middle of the jungle out here, right next to this rice plant look they got like uh all the equipment that you train with they're like punching tires and shit there's some rings in there uh-oh this dog's coming to kill me I bet if I take one step towards this dog, it'll take off running. It already gave up on me.
But yeah, I gotta show you guys as soon as we get up here. Not that this view isn't incredible, but when we turn up here, I'm gonna show you something that's a secret in the mountains. It's crazy the uh, amount of liberation you get from from taking uh, m mushrooms. Like it really does just break all the boundaries down. And it shows you so much potential of what you could be, what you actually are. I mean, look at this view. Looks like something out of a dream. I feel like I'm dreaming right now. But it's crazy that like, uh, you know, just like a mushroom that grows from elephant poop can make you feel such a different way. Like that it can change your consciousness, like almost like you're like a TV or like you're like in Adobe or something like that. Like your life got put into an Adobe program and all the saturation got turned up. Someone like... I don't know, like a pro editor, just do your shit together, bada bing, bada boom. And now look, here you are. I don't know what I'm talking about, but like, look at this, man. I wanna swim in that. No, I probably don't wanna swim in that. That looks like it's uh, where you get six swimming in that. <laughs> it's all brown and shit. Sorry, I just didn't know what else to say. That's the last place I want to swim. That looks like this comes from the toilet. But I like this little Rasta place though. Hello, my people, I'm home. Look at this cow looking at me. Don't look at me when you got some bird on your back. <laughs> oh man, that's so fucking funny. that tree over there with the drippies. Look at this little tiny bridge right here. I want to cross it just, just because it's here. Let's cross this bridge once or twice. Oh, looks like there's a little... Don't mind me, guys. I'm just on drugs. I want to cross this bridge. Uh-oh, the joint is unstable. What is that person collecting? Like, what are they collecting this grass for? I mean, that's how disconnected I am from nature. Like, there's people out here that are collecting grass because they know the resource, like the, what they can do with this. 
I just walk past it. Even with this rice, how do I turn this into rice? It's right here in front of me. This is a rice field. How do I make this into a plate of rice? Man, I don't know shit. If this, if this world goes to, to end, I'm gonna have to rely on... Hey, you guys ever watched YouTube before? That's all I have. I can roll a mediocre joint. I've got some interesting stories about how I once walked past a, a long neck Karen. Man. Whew. This is my hotel right here. Why does this cat look like it's about to attack me? Man, you can't trust cats. Hello, hello. <laughs> this is more my people right here. Hello, sir. Good to see you, sir. Holy shit, what is in front of my room over here? How did God know? Hello. Oh my god, this one's only got one eye. This only got one eye, one little eye. It's okay, buddy. You look like you're doing all right. Man, these cats, imagine this life as a cat out here in this rice field. Man, these cats are living it. He's got one eye, he's out here probably hunting mice. Man. And lots of different life happening on this planet. We gotta roll another joint. Look at these dirty little devils right here, man. Jesus. Well, they work. I can tell you that that's for sure. I feel like I should eat another one, but I can't chew anything right now. Maybe if I just swallow it like a pill. Maybe just like the top of one. Oh, I still got like elephant shit all over it. It's okay. I'm just gonna swallow this baby. Look at this one. <laughs> Man, it's like a, the universe has such a, has such a shitty sense of humor that it would make this profound experience grow out of some, out of some elephant or cow shit.
Like, come on. It's hilarious, actually. That's how you know all this is not real. <clears throat> I thought these papers were gone and then I pulled one out and there was a whole nother life inside this paper box right here. These mother, these mother flippers don't end. These raw papers right here, baby. Come on, let me get one. Oh shit, I'm pulling them all out. Fuck. That's all I needed. Don't tell me you guys have tried to smoke mushrooms before. Oh, fuck, that's when you know you're down bad. I've been there before. Smoking mushrooms. Yeah, I think it's doing something. I think I feel it. <laughs> the life out of me. Yo, I'm gonna need another one of these after that. Oh my God. Jesus. Oh shit, there's another one. I don't got no food for you. And whatever food I did have, these ants got it. All I have is mushrooms. You guys like mushrooms? You guys watch YouTube videos? YouTube. You smoke?
damn, these cats are just going through all my shit. <laughs> it's okay. What's mine is yours. Make yourself at home. It's crazy, like, uh, how f detailed m mushrooms allow you to see things. Like, the fact I can see all the different shades of this mushroom so vibrantly and vividly. Or I guess, like, if I was sober, I'd probably see it too, but maybe, like, I just don't have, like, the, the depth in a normal life to, like, appreciate it fully. But like when you're in the psychedelic space, it's like you have this emotional depth that just allows you to like be fully present and to like acknowledge the beauty full, fully as like a unity, as like a oneness. Where I feel like when we're in our sober mind, we are hyper focused on one thing. It's not like a liberated field of openness. It's like a uh, like a narrow hallway. You know what I'm saying? But like when you're on mushrooms or sometimes when you just like smoke a little bit of weed or like sometimes when it's just like after a long day and it's just like that, that exhale at the, at the end of a day. I don't know what I'm talking about, but like, man, these, the colors in my own body. I have so much pink in my own body. I had no, I had no idea. I was pink. Damn, you guys seeing this? I look extra pink to you today or what? And these cats are just in here, living a life of their own. How many grams did I take? Three of these grams. Whatever three of these are. I want more. I want more. <laughs> oh man, earlier when it first hit me, it was like uh, just like melting into cosmic oneness. I was just like laying there, rubbing on everything. <sighs> what some would call being on drugs, I guess. Now, there's something beautiful about the psychedelic experience that I've never really taken any drugs before, like pills or anything like that, so I don't really know how to compare it. Like, I don't know if that 
sort of high is the same kind of high as this. I smoked a lot of weed before. I've done some mushrooms, I've done a lot of ayahuasca. But like, it feels like a, a holy sacrament. Like it feels like when we do these things, like you can't do them for partying, whatever. But like when you do it with the intention to open something, then it works. And uh, it works in such an undeniable way. Whereas like, okay, but only, only like the real initiated will ask. You have to like ask to reveal yourself, open the gates. And then it lets you into like the sacred world, man. Like the world of the ancestors, the spirit world, the world of like the plants. This is what all of our, our tribal ancestors were doing. We're doing these sort of communications with nature. We've completely lost any of that. We don't know how to communicate with nature. We actually, we probably think it's a stupid idea, if anything. But for the people that live in nature, they know it's not stupid and that it's real and that nature is alive and intelligent. I mean, like, where do you... We're not the only intelligent thing on this planet. I know we feel like that because we're in our own little human worlds. We're in traffic. We're in the theater of human affairs. But there's something real happening beyond that. Taking place. something primal, something integral, something that is that last when the curtain closes is still there. Like, cause we get so hyper obsessed with the glitz and the glam of life, with the dramas of our own life. We get engulfed by it, hypnotized completely. Day to day to day to day to day, we are absolutely enamored by the drama of our lives. We're not in control of our brains, you know, like our brains absolutely control us fully. Focus on this, focus on this, focus on this, focus on this. We hardly have control. But with yoga or with the consultation of these ancient spirits, these mushrooms, with talking to these oracles of earth, they'll tell you a new way to live. It shows you a new potential. It shows you a world beyond your human bullshit. And it's actually not beyond your human bullshit, it's beyond your ego bullshit, because this is actually more human than, than what we are doing. We are just lost deeply in ego, you know? And ego means like, ego means our perception of how it should be rather than how it is. It's our story of what's happening rather than what's happening. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, light my fire. Don't do this to me. I'm gonna have to build a fire out here with some sticks. Fuck. This is bad news. 
You hear this cat? Even this cat is singing out here, like some blues, spooky, fan, fan, Phantom of the Opera shit. Well, please work. Why, God? Finger and thumb it? I don't know what that means. I feel like it's oh shit, fuck. Fuck. Damn, I messed up that I messed up big time. Right here. I caught in 4K. God damn it. These cats are in here messing up the bathroom. Oh my thumb. Jesus. Maybe if we change. Maybe if we change. Uh, change the room and we go out here and take this outside. We do a little offering. Okay. Okay. Great spirit. Great spirit, thank you. Great spirit, thank you for allowing me to wake up in the middle of a mystery, in the middle of some story that I call life. Allowing me to go on this journey where every day is who knows what's going to happen. I have this idea in my head. Maybe it'll work out like this. Maybe it doesn't. But the truth is, life is this unexplainable happening that we just wake up in every single day. And one day, it's going to change. Everything in your life that makes it normal now, the normalcy, the routine of your life, is going to break one day. This is like the harsh truth of temporary of our temporary nature, that it's change is coming and it is inevitable. So while we're here comfortable and we are just living, we have to be accepting of the truth that is coming towards us at all times. And always, please, Great Spirit, allow me to be in a space where I can always just bow as these moments approach and not clench and push away from them, but to accept them as they come, bow, greet them as old friends. Hallelujah. Okay, let's hope this lighter works now. We're gonna put this, okay, we'll put you. We'll put you right next to this tree right here. Mahadev, Arahar Mahadev. I meant that, by the way. I'm not just saying that just so the lighter works. I really did mean it. God. Fuck. I thought it was going to work first try. We're in, boys. We did it. Thank you, Mother Teresa. Thank you, Bhagat Singh. What is that noise?
You guys hear that? Am I gonna be a shaman? It's an interesting question because no, I'm not gonna be a shaman. If you're meant to be a shaman, then life burrs you in the role of a shaman. You don't, this isn't something you get to claim. You don't, you don't become a shaman. You don't like uh, identify as a shaman. You're born a shaman. When you're born a Shipibo shaman in the Amazon, you come from a lineage of shamans. You're a shaman. That's like, there's no, it's not really like a choice or like a, I mean, yeah, maybe in your tribe, you decide you want to take on the, the knowledge of the plants. But there's an ancestral lineage that holds that knowledge that you can't just claim because you identify with it emotionally. Damn, those cats are in there just messing everything up. We're all shamans in our own rights. We're all healers in our own, in our own ways. But the path of a real shaman, man, is no joke. I've met some real shamans before. They're as dedicated to their healing as we are to our lives. You know, our little lives that we're in, the relationships that we are obsessed with, you know, like our little routines that we're obsessed with. Those guys are actively fully hyper-focused in their identity as a shaman, as a healer, as someone that works with the spirits to heal people. And they really are. And it sounds so silly to anyone that's in the cities, anyone that's raised Christian, and anyone that's, a, that's raised outside of these nature-based understandings. But, like, there are tools that the people that live in nature know. And one of those tools is, like, ayahuasca, for example, or, like, mushrooms, for example. And that there are these certain ceremonies that you can partake in or that you can do certain methods to enhance the experience to get this effect out of it. Yes, you can use mushrooms to party, you can use whatever, but if you do it in this ceremonial way, you'll open a door to something different. And uh, it works. This is why we have thousands of years of history over and over and over again. We have a big database of human lineages to prove that there is some mystery lingering in the plants. And I'm proof of it right now. These mushrooms, man, like, you can't even articulate it. Like, the sort of realizations it has. Like, I'm sobering up now, but, like, you're looking at the same thing that you're looking at usually, but you're seeing an infinite world of understandings of that one thing. Like, usually, like, right now, I'm pretty sober. I look at this in front of me. Oh, let's change. I look at this thing in front of me and I just see it for what it is. But like on the mushroom, I like, I can't even explain it, but you just see like a million realities at once. Potentials, past, presents, futures. And it's all happening at once and it all makes sense. You're not like over analytical of, or like getting strung up on one aspect of it but it's like a million things happening at once and you understand all of them and you see it everywhere it's like some sort of god awareness or something like our normal sober mind cannot comprehend that much information it needs something stupid monkey primal give me one thing to focus on i am this this is my agenda for today this one thing like, to be like a, 
on the mushroom is like a primal state, man. It's like your your brain must be like must be fucking like a Christmas tree. It's like s- suboptimal. Like I bet your uh, your intellect is all increased by like a a noticeable a measurable amount for sure it is man anyone that's done this stuff can can agree to that it's weird man it's just like it grows in poop like come on man that's how you know the universe has such a sense of humor it ain't working homie What's his name? Hmm. What's your name? Willie? Give him a name. Okay, we'll call him. Well, is it a boy or a girl? Are you a boy or a girl? Okay, we're just gonna assume you're a, a boy so we don't violate you. But we're gonna call you. What will we call you? It's gotta be the perfect name. We call you. We're gonna call him Rice Daddy. This is a little Rice Daddy. Oh, it's okay, Rice Daddy. Nice to meet you. Rice Patty Daddy. You smoke? Did I assume his name? Fire, fuego, encendedor. Tu hablas español?
<laughs> yeah, my homie. What do you think this cat eats? It must just like... I don't know, there must be little rodents and stuff around here that this thing hunts. Little geckos and stuff. What do you eat, Ezekiel? What is your name? Ezekiel! Ezekiel! Reveal yourself! He eats the rice? Oh shit, okay, can't get off me. Oh, sorry, sorry little buddy. Come on. Get the fuck off me. <sighs> All right, well, I'm going to let my phone charge for a minute. Get my phone charged for five minutes, and then we're going to go watch the sunset. What time is it? Someone Google what time is it in Thailand. It is... Oh, shit, I think we still got two hours or something before the sunset. Maybe it's... Uh, premature, premature call, sorry. Four twenty seven? No, so I got five twenty seven here. <clears throat> oh, my God, no, that's insane. They're all dead ants. You lunatics. You sacrificed yourself. Why? For some sugar. Jesus. Man, that's, that's some deep symbolism for humanity right there. I'm just gonna let you, I'm gonna just gonna let you do your thing. Even that, just let you do your thing. That's so symbolic. Sweet Jesus. Don't tell me this is going to work on the first try. I was about to be mad. Oh, come on. I can't be wasting them. RIP camera was is not working now. You can't see anything. It seems like every time I stream for an hour, this is how it always ends. It always ends with a black screen. I don't know why it does this. Hold on, let me try something. Let's see. What if I do this? Still black screen? Come on, YouTube. Why you gotta do this to me? Even if I put on all these crazy filters... Yes, you guys are saying yes. What did I say? What are you guys saying yes to? You can see me or no? <laughs> what the fuck is everyone saying yes to? I'm too stoned. What did I say? To get so many agreements. Zoom out. I'm trying to zoom out. What do you mean zoom out? <laughs> I'm 
Try and zoom in and out, okay? Zoom in and out. Let's see, in and out. Nah, nothing, that's not working. Sorry guys. The mushroom gods were like, hey, this is this is time for the curtain to be closed. Catch you guys next time, I guess. Trust the mushroom.